Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 2.7 Use and make line plots and our essential question is how can you read and interpret data in a line plot and use data to make a line plot Okay, so let's unlock the problem a line plot uses marks to record each piece of data above a number line it helps you see groups in the data so let's see this problem some students took a survey of the number of letters in their first names then they recorded the data in a then they recorded the data in a line plot how many students have six letters in their first names so as you can see here each x stands for one student so if you count the number of x's above the three the three means that the student has three letters in his name so the numbers here show the number of letters in a name okay so here for example this means that students with three letters in their name we have two x's it means they are two students okay here so find six on the number line the six stands for six letters okay there are how many x's above the six so above the six we have one two three four x's so these are four x's means four students so four students have six letters in their first names okay question number one which number of letters was found most often okay so who has the most number of x's is five letters okay so it's five five letters okay here number two write a sentence to describe the data okay if we look here at the line plot we can see that the students from three to five letters in their names are more than the students with six to seven six to eight letters in their names okay so we can say students with eight to five letters their names are more than with six eight letters okay here number three how many letters are in your first name so this question depends on your first name for example for myself my name is ahmed and Ahmed is one two three four five letters so I just write five okay if your name has four letters you write four okay number four put an X above the number of letters in your first name so my first name has five letters so I go here to the five and I write just one X okay okay the next activity is actually an inside class activity so you will need ruler measuring tape so measure the height of four classmates to the nearest inch combine your data with other groups make a line plot to show the data you collected okay so here's tip number one record the heights in the table okay suppose that the heights are from 50 so 50 51 52 50 55 56 57 actually guys these numbers will be different from your numbers as the heights in your class 
may be different from this okay so let's say that these are the heights and let's say that one student is 50 inches tall and for example three students 51 inches tall and for example one two three four five students 52 inches tall and suppose that no one is 53 inches tall and let's say that here three four five six seven students 54 and let's say here three students 55 two students 56 two students 57 sure these numbers will be different from your class okay so here is step number two write a title below the number line to describe your line plot so the title here is heights in inches so here we write heights okay step number three write the number of inches in order from left to right above the title so we have from 50 till 57 so we write here 50 51 52 53 54 55 6 57 okay and the last step draw x is above the number line to show each student's height so for 50 we have one student only so we'll draw one x 51 3 so 1 2 3 52 5 so 1 2 3 4, 5 53 no one 54 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 7 Then 55 is 3, and 56 is 2, 57 is 2. Okay, let's answer these questions. Which height appears most often? Okay, it's clear that 54 has the most number of x's. So, it's 54 inches okay number six which height appears least often so at 50 we have only one x so this is the least often height so it's 50 inches okay number seven complete the sentence most of the students in the class are how many inches tall or taller okay so as you can see the numbers here from 50 till 53 are less than from 54 to 57 so most of the class is 54 inches or taller so we can say that most of the class is 54 inches or taller number eight is there any height for which there are no data explain Yes, for the 53, for example, we don't have any x's. So we can say yes above 50. There are no x's. So none of the students. three okay as we said guys these numbers and this line plot will be different from the actual that you will do in your class okay hope you guys enjoyed this lesson have a nice day and goodbye